Hey there, welcome to my video. If you haven't seen my channel already, my name is Marcus Barnes and I blow glass. Today we're going to be doing some fuming using some pure silver and 24 karat gold. We're going to start out just by chopping up a little bit of the silver. The same principle will apply to the gold. We're going to use a very small amount and you don't need much more than that. All right, time to light up my torch. We'll start out by pulling a point, but you can apply gold and silver to really any kind of borosilicate glass. There are so many applications. I'll do a longer demo in the future, but today we'll just work on some basic application and I'll let you play around with it. Just taking the time to heat up a section of this tubing, I'm doing a little speed ramp here just to save you some time. Pulling down the point, nice and even. And there we go, we got it separated. Looking pretty good. Hi, Dr. D. All right, now we'll just warm up the end of this tubing. Get it nice and even. And our goal here will be to have a gradual heat going down the wall weight towards the handle. And this will enable us to get a nice thin bubble on the tip while not having the side walls too thin towards the back. Here we go. Make sure to spin evenly. Lots of air, I'm giving it multiple puffs and blowing very hard at the end. It's not perfectly centered, but it'll do. I really like using a glass hand torch. The fact that there are no metal contaminants that get in the flame really is a benefit. All right, let's go over some flame chemistry. So this flame here is slightly reducing. Reducing flames have more propane than oxygen. This flame right here is neutral, a little bit of flicker on the tip. And now that it's quite razor sharp, we could call this an oxidizing flame. For silver, you're going to want a slightly reducing flame, although oxidizing can be very beneficial as well depending on what you're going for. Gold, you want mostly oxygen. Next we'll preheat our silver, and you'll notice, as I bring this flame to the graphite, it starts to weep. Condensation, just water. However, this can also be a contaminant if you're doing quartz work or borosilicate as well. It's always good to slightly preheat your graphite. We can see it melt down here. And this is where I would say it's a little bit too hot. You can see that it's actually off-gassed onto the carbon around it, and it fell down there. All right, let's pick it up. Beautiful. You can see it's nicely embedded in the tip of the glass there. And it's not falling out, it's holding its own. This will be the same principle for the gold as well. And now we'll bring it into that slightly reducing flame rotating our glass evenly that we're applying it to. And you can see I'm going back and forth with the silver. This actually allows it to vaporize easier within the flame. Here's an example of what one might call overfuming. Now there are definitely applications for this as well, but this is a very heavy coat. All 
right, let's try the gold. In this case, I'm using a slightly more oxidizing flame. And you can see the glass is turning pink. It really has a beautiful look when it comes into contact with the glass. Beautiful metallic colors and also lovely pinks and oranges as well. Combining both gold and silver can give you incredible colors as well. Have fun experimenting with the two. I'm just continuing to apply a nice even coat and there you can see. Thanks for watching my video. If you made it to the end, congratulations. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing lots more. Thanks again.